hi everybody this is Jackie thank you for joining me for another video today I am here to show you a Tuesday morning haul and if you are new to my channel I want to welcome you to my channel and if you like what you see hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any of my future videos so just to get right into it the first things that I got from Tuesday morning were these thicker letters they're kind of epoxy kind of remind me of typewriter keys they are actually called library that's the title of them or the name of them and they're this kind of clear milky white color with gold letters on them I really really love these so I actually picked up two packs of these they are kind of slipping down coming from the pack but I don't think they've been opened I believe they're all in there so I got two packs of those then I got a pack of sticky notes from Carpe Diem and I just like the way they have itinerary magic to do and memories and that's the number I got a pack of those. Then I picked up a pack of breads from the Simple Stories line. It's from the Domestic Bliss collection. And that's the number. And I just thought these were really, really cute. And I like how they have the bread attached to like um, a little embellishment. So of course this gave me an idea to use my other breads that I have with other embellishments. I can put them together just like this. So I got those. One pack of those. And then I got this pack of um, junk journal goodies. This was um, $4.99 and it just comes with several little bits and pieces in there for junk journaling and I'm going to open this and just kind of take a look and see what's in here. I haven't opened this yet so this would be my first time seeing these pieces with you guys. Now I'm not going to go through every piece in here, but I do just want to share a few of them with you. So you get some kind of like tickets. Just a piece of paper. Get some tags in here some little mini envelopes a couple of those just plain mini envelopes a piece of cardstock okay and this this is really really textured oh I love this it's just the feel of it very very text text tactile and you get some other pieces piece of this is feels kind of like um, like that cotton paper it almost feels like handmade paper then you just get some other pieces a piece of corrugated cardboard this is a piece of um, oh my goodness what do you call this like that linen fabric then you get piece of burlap another envelope so that was the junk journal goodies pack then I picked up a pack of these um, wooden veneers I actually just like these because they are actually already colored and those are the pieces that you get in the box I really liked the birds and the birdhouse, the cloud, and you get some buttons in there. And like I said, they're already colored, so 
I really liked those. Then I got a pack of what they call tabbies. And let's see if I can get it to. These were 99 cents. And you might not be able to see the number because it's really little. I'll try to get close so you can see it in case you're interested in it. If I could get it to focus, there it is. But these are called tabbies from the Bella Boulevard collection. And I think I saw these on someone else's channel. I want to say Lilac Jade's channel. And I was hoping that our store would have these because I love tabs. Tabs everywhere. So those are some, um, these are some of the ones that come in the box. Really, really love those. So I got a box of tabbies. Then I picked up some bird wood veneers from Studio Calico. I've seen these in the store for a while. And I've always passed them up, but yesterday I just went on and picked them up. Especially like for summer, since summer's coming out and I'll have some summer projects that I'll be doing. Those would be good on there. Also, I picked up some um, white bags. There are 26 pieces in this pack. Um, that's the number if you're interested in them. And these were $1.49. And they're just the little bags for, um, you know, scrapbooking and whatnot. Junk journals, all of that. So I got a bag of those little bags or a pack. Then I picked up some these are from the snap um, line. These are some clips. They're kind of used like paper clips and they're actually literally paper. They're kind of like uh, cardstock kind of paper. That's the number. And I'll kind of show you what they look like. Kind of give you an idea. So like this is one of the uh, one of the designs in the pack and you see how it's kind of like a clip and you would just clip it like let me see so over your papers so they have that one and I'll show you a few of the designs they have they have a don't forget Donut forget, okay. That's the clip. They have epic, and that's the clip part on that side where it would clip. And they have a heart, a regular clip that has hello, carpe diem, don't forget. That's just some of the other ones that they have in there. Just trying to give you an idea of what they have in the pack. So I got those clips. I thought those would be really fun to work with. Then I picked up this um, flip book from... Heidi Swap. This is an older product, of course, and it's actually been, I've actually seen this in the store for some time as well. But um, this is the number just in case anybody is interested. But it's just a regular flip up book that you attach to your smash book or your scrapbook page or whatever you're going to use it for. And it just you just it's already ready made for you just to include your photos your journaling or whatever you want to add to it these are also really simple to make but I picked up that one and I also picked up this one which is a sh another version of the flip book this one uh, was only 99 cents so I picked this one up 
and I'll show it to you too as well. You can kind of see right there on the picture on the back how it is. But it's just the same thing except it's just a shorter version of it. And like I said, I'm pretty sure I can make these easily myself with my own paper. And then I can just put some tabs, some of my new tabs on the ends and use um, some kind of decorative scissors to cut like a border on the top piece and then put some thickers or some letters on the top. So these would be very easy to make. But I just got those two to kind of start off with. Also, I picked up from the snap line of Carpe Diem metal charms for hanging on like your planners and stuff. And it comes with the camera, the heart, this little round one that says it's a brand new day. And then there's one under there that says hello. And these were um, $1.99 and they do come four to a pack. Let me see if I can get the number for you. And I just thought those would be nice for hanging on your planners and whatnot. Then I picked up this little charm. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this. I just thought it was really, really cute. Really nice. And, um... You know, it comes with two ends for you to hang. It's like a charm, of course. And you can hang, you know, put your attachments on there and hang them wherever you need to hang them. But I just got that charm. They had a couple of different ones. They had a cross and some other kind of charms. But this, this, this is the one that I picked. And that's the number. So I got that to use. And then I picked up a couple of things of um, sequins. Now, these sequins were $3.99. To me, that is like way more than I would pay for a pack of sequins. But I really, really liked the colors in here and the designs. I'm not sure if it'll pick up for you or not. But this is kind of like the pink and green pack of sequins. And they kind of have a, some kind of glassy shimmer to them. And I, I've never seen them like that before. And I just thought that they were neat. And like I said, normally I would not dare pay $3.99 for a pack of these. I'm trying to see if I can get the number for you guys to come in. Yeah, there it is. The number um, to focus for you. But yeah, normally I would not pay $3.99 for these. But I just... Once I saw them, I could not leave them in the store. And then I also picked up this pack, and this is more of a blue and, I guess, blue and purple or blue and pink kind of pack. It's kind of, to me, it kind of reminds me of sea-themed or maybe what people call mermaid mix. But these were also $3.99, and let me see if I can get this number to focus might not be able to but if anybody wants the number to these just leave me a message in the box below and I will send you the number okay so the next thing I got was this pack of authentic um, paper 6x6 six six paper pad there are 24 sheets in this pack, and this is from the Dapper line of paper. And this paper pad was $2.99. And I'll go through real quick and show you what the papers look like in this stack. So the first sheet, let me move some of this. The first sheet looks like this. And the back of this sheet is that pattern. Then you get that sheet. And that's the back with like a little a lot of little TVs, old fashioned retro TVs. Then you get this sheet. Up here it says auto maintenance log. 
and it's kind of like a ledger looking sheet and the back of this sheet is that print then you get this sheet with the wine glass or the martini glasses thermoses drinking vessels and on the back of that sheet is like stars it's a dark blue background with light blue stars then you get this one with the old-fashioned record players and um, there are hats on there and pipes as well if you can see in the back of the sheet is this striped pattern then I have this sheet with the newsprint with the record and the pipe on there that's the record and the pipe really like this paper and then that's the back just a bunch of records tiny records all over this paper is excellent for retro pages and retro scrapbooking really good for that you get that design and the back of this paper looks like that it's just a green square pattern then you get this recipe collage page book page and on the back of this page is like a red sheet with white polka dots on it so that is the um, authentic dapper collection then I also picked up another pack of paper from authentic which is this pack of paper it is from the explore collection it's for like vintage travel pages so let me see if i can get you the number for this this pack was 5.99 and there's the number if anybody is interested in it it's one nine five two eight four six so I got that and I'll show you real quick what the pages look like in this one that's the little cover so you get a sheet of cut aparts travel themed cut aparts two sheets then you get two sheets of this kind of grid large grid paper kind of cream with gray lines on it but you get two sheets of those then you get the map paper then you get two sheets of this kind of collage paper then you get this that kind of looks like cork board and then at the bottom it has a little collection of pictures at the bottom I kind of really like that paper too then you get another sheet of collage paper let me see maybe if I put this up a little bit you guys can see it better I'll try that okay let's see if that's better so you, you get those papers then you get two of these pattern papers I really like that paper too this is the sheet of stickers that you get in the pack lots and lots of travel stickers on there really like the sticker sheets and the reverse side of the reverse side of these papers I'll go through real quick and show you what the backs look like so you get this kind of plaid print cut apart then you get this pattern like the postage 
stamps. You get this one with planes, trains, and automobiles. You get ships on there as well. Different colors. Different vintage colors. Retro colors. You get this page with the uh, airplanes. This page with the clouds or the airplane in the clouds. That's kind of too busy for me, but it's okay. And then you get this one, kind of like the airmail paper. So that's what comes in this authentic vintage travel pack. And then I bought one more pack of paper, which I'll try to flip through really quickly for you. This is the um, Maggie Holmes Confetti Collection paper pad. This was, let's see, it was $6.99. And I'll just go through real quick. I really, really love the papers in this pack. So just to kind of give you an idea of what's in here. Get that black and white pattern, the wood grain, some cut apart tags and tickets. Then you get that dot, get that pattern. You get that kind of crosshatch looking pattern in a peach color. That's really pretty. Then you get this pattern, which when I first looked at it, I thought it was part, it looked like party hats, but when you really look at it, it's tassels. A bunch of different color tassels on the page. That pattern in black and cream. Get that pattern in kind of peach and black. Green. This is actually hats, party hats. Then you get that pattern. You get this one. Really like that page as well. You get some more cut aparts. You get a sheet of tickets, cut apart tickets. And then you get some flowers, the stripes, the polka dots, a page of numbers. Chevron with the peach, a darker wood grain, get that pattern, the flower pattern, and that pattern, then it just repeats. So, that is my um, Tuesday morning haul. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will talk to you guys in my next video.